What is going on, YouTube people? Northeast Ohio Cards and Comics here. I can retire. I've hit it big. My ship has finally came in. Look at this. Just look at this gloriousness. G.I. Joe. Cases are going for $3.5 million. To the moon, baby. I'm like Teddy KGB in here, up in here, just splashing the pot. Just splashing the pot. Look at this. In all seriousness, though, uh, the Logan Paul thing, the fact that it was G.I. Joe cards, I, anyone that's watched the channel for a while uh, knows the G.I. Joe, the box uh, G.I. Joe cards was a legendary joke on the channel for a long time. I finally opened it um, for the, I don't remember what I opened it for. I opened it for something. There was a reason behind it why I ended up opening it. Uh, but the fact that the Logan Paul case was filled with G.I. Joe cards is just amazing to me. Um, all right, what are we going to talk about today? Uh, there's three things I want to hit on. Uh, one, obviously, the Logan Paul situation. Uh, with the And more not the Logan Paul situation, per se. The BBCE side of it, I guess. Uh, a take on that. There's the Backyard Breaks thing that happened, if you guys aren't aware of that. So, you know, I'm not going to go into a big internet sleuth deep dive on here. It's been covered the you know logan paul bought the case there was questions the the youtube community basically or the the pokemon youtube community and probably some others i don't know all the players involved basically figured out that this thing was fake once they got eyes on it it seemed very very quickly even though bbce said that it was real they had the opening today filled with gi joe cards um the biggest concern here is is the auth process for bbce the, he walked through his process in that video, and it was very not deep, essentially. Um, it was basically, oh, yeah, I, I looked the tape over. The case looked sealed. There was there was nothing on the box. Everything looked good, but not talking about doing any research on the label. Did the label look correct? Other than it just being, you know, it, it looked like it was worn, which you know, anyone watches Rudy the Magic Guy knows that that stuff could easily be faked. Let's, I'm gonna, I'll actually, let me just pull it up really quick here. Okay, so this is a, a quick clip from the Logan Paul video. Uh, this is the owner from uh, BBCE talking about this. Back in March of this year, this case came into my office. They asked for my opinion if the outside of this case had been tampered with, played with, reproduced in any way. You could see in this piece of seal that was put on there by Wizards of the Coast that this tape is aged onto this case. This label too, the same embedded lines of the cardboard from age mm -hmm, mm -hmm. are in that label. There's no evidence of tampering. One edge would look different. In any way, shape, yep. or form. I did my diligence just like I do for a sports case. Oh yeah. All right, let, let, let's stop it right there. Uh, there was, and maybe once again, this is edited, who knows, but there was no talk about actually researching the information on the label. Do you know how easy it is to make a label look like it's worn? Go take a box with a label on it like that and rub it up against something for a while. And you can make it look worn like that. That's not hard to do. And clearly the box didn't look tampered with because it was loaded with fake product. Um, I am not a sealed wax investor, collector. I have no vested interest in this. I have nothing owned by BBCE. I have never even looked at any of their stuff to purchase. So it doesn't really affect me from that perspective. But, you know, they definitely went outside of their lane for this. They do not normally do Pokemon stuff. Maybe their process is a little more in-depth for sports cards. I sure as hell hope so, based off what I saw there. Because if that's literally the whole process for authing a $3.5 million case... That scares the hell out of me. Uh, hopefully, it's a little bit more in-depth than that. And then, uh, you know, the amazing part when they open it. And here's the part where my retirement kicks in. Oh, my God. Oh, my oh God, my God, bro. G.I. Joe? Just the fact that it was... <laughs> when I saw the G.I. Joe, I... It was amazing. It was amazing. I don't want to harp too much on this. This is all everyone's going to be talking about. Uh, it seems like, I don't know all the details yet, it seems like money is changing hands to get everyone paid back. All that stuff will shake out. Uh, BBCE has already come out and said that they're reviewing the process of how they authenticate this stuff. All sorts of shenanigans. There'll be a ton of fallout from this. I'm not going to talk that to death because everyone's going to be talking to death. I wasn't even going to, I honestly was not even planning on doing a video on this. 
Um, I was just going to talk about it Sunday in the weekly recap show because I knew that everyone and their sister would be talking about it. But the second the G.I. Joe cards hit the table, we all know what had to happen. And then here's the other thing. Two more things happened today. Uh, let's switch over to these guys. If anyone has not seen this yet, Backyard Breaks, I've never heard of these guys. Or I think I've seen pictures of these guys before. Uh, they do breaks, uh, obviously, on Twitch, I think, uh, TikTok, whatever. The various social media platforms. Long and short of it is, and I don't necessarily know all the details, they say they are going to open this uh, box of Absolute and, and give it away to someone. I forget what the qualifications were. Uh, I think the biggest loser in the break or something. They did not have it predetermined who it was going to go to. They just say, whatever, you know, whatever, we're going to give away this box, essentially. I'm going to hit play real quick here. I'm sorry that we even have to listen to these guys. I don't know how I... I had questioned so many things in the hobby after watching five minutes of this. Tell me who wins. Ugh. The Twitch is at Backyard Breaks. It's the link in the bottom. Let's rip it first and then give it away. Let's rip it first and then give it away. Hear that? Let's rip it first and then give it away. Oh my, oh god. my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Put that one over there. We Stand have a kaboom. We have. At this point, they realize there's a gold kaboom in there. And then let's just fast forward a little bit here. And now they realize they have a Lawrence kaboom. Here's where things change quickly. Get Elon on the horn! Oh my god. It's only fair to give this to the person that loses biggest in the break, even though that's a monster card. That's harder. It's only fair. Holy shit. It's only fair. It's Dude, only fair. I, 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 that's well, not even fair, honestly. That's not even fair. That's we should a, keep that's, it. That's a fifteen probably thousand dollar card, bro. I don't know what we should that's do. Over 15, that's over fifteen twenty. I'm not that, kidding, that's bro. That's a ten to fifteen K card. I'm not kidding, bro. Oh my god. That's a fifteen, twenty thousand dollar card, Grant. Oh my god. Should we give that away? I don't know, Grant. I that's, don't know. that's an executive decision that I'm not gonna make. Last <laughs> time I made a, uh, made a decision, it was the wrong one. By the way, this is how you completely ruin your reputation in about a three minute period. The fact that this conversation is even happening tells you everything you need to know about these guys. It was the wrong one. Oh my God. I cannot believe that. I'm looking it up right now. Hey, just do it they don't even have it on oh, eBay. Just type in oh, gold shit. kaboom out of 10. Yeah, I did. I did. No, Trevor, no, no Trevor, kaboom. no Trevor. Just type in gold. Gold, gold rookie kaboom. You can get a feel for like Trey Lance and then. Bro, Lance is doing like eight. Oh my God, bro, bro! The Brady went for thirty three hundred. No, the Mac went for twenty seven thousand. Kyler twenty one. It's going over ten. Either. Bro, no, Dude, it's fifteen. This it's is fifteen. This is twenty, bro. Burrow second year is doing fourteen. Second this is a year. twenty thousand dollar card, Grant. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Yeah, it is. I don't know, Grant. That's it is. <laughs> It is. I, I Grant. Yeah, I, call, it's, you know list, it's listed for thirty, twenty five k on eBay. Grant, you want? You, yeah, I'll do it for you. You want me to say it for you? Yeah, I got you. Just yeah. so I'll same, be the bad guy. I'll be the bad guy. Guys, I'm sorry, we can't give that one away. I'm. I'm. I. I already need to take a shower. I, I almost don't even know what to say. The best part is, is people in Twitch chat were actually telling them to keep it. Like a certain segment of people were like, "Oh no, no, you should absolutely keep it." Like, that's the whole point. That's what happens when you open product. That's the dream is the ultimate hit. And as a breaker, well, I, I've never broke before. I've never been a breaker. I, I this right here, this, I, the first, the Logan Paul scam thing, that's, that's a whole other conversation. Then this all in the same day, this is like the worst of everything in the hobby. Slash, not even the hobby, collectibles. Because, you know, the Pokemon stuff isn't called hashtag the hobby, whatever. This, I, I mean, yeah. This is just a disaster. An absolute disaster. Now, apparently, and I haven't, like, done a deep dive. They have backtracked on this very quickly. Supposedly now, they're giving it away. They're donating 20000 to charity or something. But... They're giving it away on Twitch later. I'm recording this and then it's immediately going to go up. Uh, they're giving it away to a random Twitch follower or something. What about the guy that was supposed to get the card? 
the it was supposed to go to the biggest loser in the breakers and maybe they're doing something for that guy too i don't know and they'll get a bunch of views off that now of course and all this but i how could you ever break with these guys ever going forward again ever regardless of what they do they're gonna try to make up for it and people will forgive them for it but how do you ever trust them again the fact that this even came up in conversation that this even came up in conversation, let alone that they actually went through with saying, we're going to keep it. And then they realized probably is very, I'm not, I, I could not watch any more of this than I had to is absolutely crazy to me. Crazy to me. To me, honestly, this is a bigger deal than the Logan Paul thing. Cause the Logan Paul thing doesn't really affect everyday people. I guess it does from the B- BBC E standpoint. There's a lot of people that have stuff wrapped by them that are now going to call that in question. But this break of trust from the breaker community to the people that break with them to me is a bigger deal because stuff like this, this is the sleazy stuff that I freaking hate. Uh, that's all I have for you guys and girls today. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you guys and girls on the next one. Peace.